Welcome to Life Scope Matters with Ron and Greg. Welcome to Life Scope Matters with Ron and Greg. I'm Ron Douglas, the host of the show, and this is Greg Smith. He's going to show us some computer software today. So, Greg, what are you going to show us today? My dad, I'm going to show the uh, AutoChart Pro Pro program. It's what I use to uh, make a mosaic layer for my hummingbird fish finder. Yes, that's right. I use hummingbird fish finders in correlation with the uh, the live scope. And uh, what I hope to get across is the value of recording. Okay. Yeah, pinpoint okay. locations. I think the recording is, is so important to look at what you went over. Sometimes you miss stuff, and, right. and it's great to just put the card in there and forget about forget about your you know that you're recording. But you can always go back and look at it at the end of the day. And I, I want to show you how to go home and open up the program with. Uh, with a free software named Hum Viewer, okay. and then I can show you waypoints and how to uh, figure out your waypoints in Google Earth. There's formats to waypoints you can look at and things of that nature. All right, that sounds good. All right, we'll see so how let's this step goes. over to the computer and we're going to have a look. Well, Ron, what do we got here? Well, right here we got in front of us is uh, Lake Wall and Palm Pack, and uh, what are we going to zoom in on? Well, we're going to zoom in on Kip Island All right. for the starters. For All starters. Right. Wait to that. Wow, that looks like a big wall. There's a lot of shadow down there. It must be pretty high, I'm wow. assuming. Yeah, right. We're going to mark that thing for you. Let's, put a, let's go to the end of it. We'll mark, another, mark the end of it. All right. So if you go from one waypoint to the other, you should see that wall on your fish finder. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> oh. Whoa. What is that? Wow, that looks like a old house, possibly, from no. back in the day. Another, there's a tree next to it. Oh, yeah. Well, I know which mark should we mark. We should, we'll mark that one. We'll mark one there. Mark the big tree. Definitely mark that tree. You never know what's going to ambush out of that thing. And... This must be, I don't know, that's some kind of building there. Yeah, maybe an old barn foundation. Well, when was this? This is, this is old. This got to be from the 20s. Oh, yeah, probably from that time there. Well, well, 1926 was the first when the lake was done. Right. Look the size of that rock there. Wow. Now, how would you determine the size of that rock? Well, I can do it two ways. <clears throat> I can count the squares here. All right. Each square is five foot. Okay. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, maybe 30 foot long. I'm saying if each square is five foot. Right. Or I could, uh, you know, go and put my tools and my good distance, and I could snap a line kind of and see how long that line is. Yeah, 30 and a half foot. Right. That's a different way of doing it. Um, I'm getting better at doing that. Okay. Let's, put, let's put a waypoint on there. All right, that sounds good. There's a nice big, no, that rock there. That's right. got to be big. Oh, that's, yeah. That's 10 foot rock. There. Right. Oh, boy. So what else we see here? Looks like a lot of trays there. Yeah. Why do you want these people going around and want to fish find them? So we'll find that other spot. Yeah. There. There it is. There it is. That's a uh, good year oh, tire. It's a firestone, I think. Oh, I firestone. Know. <laughs> I'm thinking, I don't know what size it is. All right, well, no, nah, we're right. nah. Nah. Nah, we don't want to do that. Okay. Anyhow. We don't want to get snagged on a tire down there. Yeah. Let's put some waypoints up for them. So, 
I'll show you. This is a, there's Sunny Point right there. Okay. It's to the left side of Sunny Point. There's Epley Island. All right. Springtime, show you what we found in here. What are them things? Oh, they're the, they look like the butts. You got it, buddy. There we go. Oh, yeah. I'll give them a way, mark, mark the waypoint on that. Oh. Look at it. Look at these rock piles here. Oh, yeah. I think that's some beds right there, but. Yeah, that's possibly some beds. That's a big rock. It's yeah. a big rock right there. Right. See, I bet you along this edge. I bet you along that edge there. Let's mark that thing. There's some nice things all over this lake. That rock there is five foot in diameter. Right. Yeah, that's pretty big. All right. Let's see if I can get some waypoints up on that. Here's Greg Smith with your live scope tip of the day. Well, anyhow, if you make your own key techs like these, and you go to put the jig in them, you know, it's kind of bulky. So here's something you can make yourself. So two thir this is a 38 special shell. Two of them. Now here's something you could do here. <clears throat> you could stamp the head off like that. So you got a nice round. Well, it actually worked out pretty good, that one there. Or, if it's not slicing real, real square, get yourself a dowel or something like that with a little notch in it. And you put a shell there, and you put a 38 special shell there. Now you can put the head right in there and just clip off. Make a nice cut for you. That's my tip. All right, and there you go. Ron, here's a spot that... Uh, I, I have trouble staying on when the, when the traffic's up, but boy, oh boy, there are just some interesting, interesting piles there. Right. Uh, I think this is called Briar Hill, this area here. Okay. That's uh, Martin's Cove. That's Stroh's Cove over there. And uh, look at these two piles right there. Wow. Just neat things to look at. So I'm going to put a waypoint right in the middle there. We'll get that waypoint out on the out on the screen for you in a minute. Uh, right. Anything else interesting there? A couple boulders. Yeah, uh, mark a waypoint there. Oh, there's some nice boulders in there. Right. More stuff to find. Yeah. And uh, this is uh, the shopping list, Ron. All right. This. In that last video that you, you came on my boat, yeah. that's the chunk rock that I was looking for. Oh, okay. I remember that, that is it yep. right there. Yep. I remember. remember saws were all, they were putting roofs on the houses and stuff. And yeah. Yeah. But we filmed. <laughs> yeah, we How still was filmed. We still got okay. it. Okay. Oh, here, let me show you. This is Burns Island. All right. There it is, Burns Island. Okay. And that point right there. I don't know. I like that pile. I have no idea why I like it, but I do. Look at that. It's like its own little um, mini island. Like right yeah. There now it sticks out and goes around. Yeah. There's a bonus in here, though. Oh, yeah? What do you got? Oh, there's the boat. Look at that. There's How about the, that? Anybody want to find that? We'll give you a, a bonus boat. Waypoint right there. All right. Okay. We'll let that one out. All right. Signing signing off on this video. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that short uh, video that we put together of Lake Wall and Paul Pack, and I hope you can find some of those waypoints uh, most useful. We got more. Oh, we do. Hundreds more. Okay. You just gotta tell us where uh, where you want to see and. Uh...
you probably got it covered. Any questions? There's some free software out there too. You can um, play back your recordings and um, I like to cover that, but we'd also like to keep the video kind of short for now. I mean, we don't yeah. want to bore you too much. Right. I'm trying to get to the point here, I guess. We didn't really say. incorporate the live scope into it. No, but you know what? We're going to cover some more footage um, with live scope and uh, how that works, you know. We, would, we do want to cover that more on the channel. But, you know, we do have the hummingbirds and, uh, you know, we kind of blend things together here on the show. So, it's kind of a little bit back and forth, you know. I was joking a little bit. Oh. I was joking a little bit. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so, yeah. Get over the point, look at it with your live scope, and you'll see what's really happening there. Right. Yeah. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you're subscribing to the channel. and keeping up with the most latest videos from uh, Life Scope Matters. Oh, wait a minute. We can give them GPX files, too. Oh, yeah? Sure, if they subscribe, we'll send them some the GPX files. All right, there you go, guys. You got to subscribe, though. You have to subscribe to the channel in order to get uh, some of Greg's uh, GPX files. All right, we're going to put that one out there. All right, and thank you for watching.